Hello everybody, this is Drinking Gamer back to kick off round 2 for Group F. Well, Group F got off to a very aggressive start. And we got 4 more matches in this group to go through. So let's have a look at them, shall we? At first we have got Martin Soto taking a crack at Team Allo. Then we will see Benjamina taking on the returning Anvil. We have two round one winners going at each other in Blood Moon and Heady. And all that before our main event. It is Dino Hug going up against Dino Hunter. But we got three more matches to go through first, so let's get started with match number one. Okie dokie, in the red corner. Representing Martin Soto, we got the Paki Rhinosaur. Ooh, this is an interesting field. So, this Paki Rhinosaurus will get terrain advantage. And I say this is interesting because Team Aloe's first dino is a Blitz type. It's the Blitz type Allosaurus. Team Allo got off to a winning start in the first round. Now, because Paki Rhinosaurus has the terrain advantage, terrain advantage will apply first. So Paki Rhinosaurus will get the first hit, and then this Allosaurus will go for two crits. So let's uh, get that over with. And it's a lightning strike. Right, and now this Allosaurus will go for its two crits. Ooh, and gets the crit. Good response to that from the Team Allo. Oh no, he's going to slip on the banana. Oh, was a good shot. The dive coming in as well. Massive hit from Allosaurus. Ooh, didn't get the blitz effect this time, and instead is Paki Rhinosaurus getting another lightning strike on the board. Good response that from Martin Soto, getting an Anyangira dive as well. And that will give him a slight lead as well. Right, let's get generate then some moves. Ooh, but Team Allo gets another crit on the board, it's another banana surprise. And this one will spell disaster for Paki Rhinosaurus because he's going to go down. Right, coming in next for Martin Soto, we got Salty Saurus. Now, one thing to note about this Salty Saurus, if you haven't seen it already, is that crit. A super hard hitting dinosaur, Salty Saurus. But its other two moves are left to be desired. So far, it is Team Allo getting the shots. Getting a 2 and 4. No, Taki Jet or a dive. It's a solid performance so far from Team Allo. And another hit on the board. Tappy Jara dive. Uh, is it happening again? You know, where the one dino is on red, you know, low health and it kills the other one. Okay, that's tight. Ooh, the Allosaurus almost bites the dust there. And he will bite the dust. Oh, no, he won't. It's a tag team. A neck crusher coming in on the Parposaurus. Tag team move that always catches me by surprise. Even though I know they have it. Mm -hmm. So the Allosaurus lives to fight another day. <laughs> and another day to get another hit. And this will put Team Allo 2-0 up. Well, it should. And things are really not looking good for Martin Soto in this match. Right, coming in third, we got the Sorrow Faganax. Now, under normal circumstances, the Sorrow Faganax would have quite a good type advantage over Allosaurus. And in fact, it would have good type advantages over all of Team Allo's dinos. That's a big bird of prey. Sorry, I just looked out my window and just saw, like, big wings of the big bird of prey outside. <laughs> but yeah, back to this contest. Oh, the random number generator is being slow. It's a bird of prey's fault. I wonder what species that is. Uh, pause real quick. Oh, you're a pretty bird. Oh, he's coming close. You are a big one, aren't you? 
Um, random number to generate is being an ass, so I'm just staring at the bird of prey while we wait for the move to generate. Technical difficulties. Tournament troubles. Okay, so this this Soro Fagnax would normally have type advantage over Team Allo's whole team, but Team Allo only has one win move in their entire team, which is Hurricane Beat on the Atrox. Which I think is a very clever tactic by Team Allo, because obviously they, they know there's going to be a butt-ton of fire dinosaurs in this tournament. It happens. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's a two. <laughs> it took a while to generate there. And they never two, so. After all that, it's going to be a tie. And that tie will signal the end for the Allosaurus Fregulus. Right. Coming in next for Team Allo, we got Allosaurus Atrox this time. Now it does have Hurricane Beat, but Hurricane Beat only triggers after a loss. So as long as the Hurricane Beat isn't triggered, the Sorofagonax will not have type advantage. Can Team Allo close out the bonus point win? Or will Martin Soto strike back in this match with a Fagonax? Now, this Fagonax does have Deathfire as well, that is a factor. So for me, he needs to kill this Atrox quite quickly. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't want to get hit too many times. Because that will trigger the death fire. And you probably end up wasting it on Atrox when he needs it on the Alpha Allosaurus. And that was a big hit from the Atrox there. Can Fagonax strike back? Oh, that's a tie, and that's probably going to end any hopes of seeing Deathfire in this match. Okay, there's a Magma Blaster, though. That'll trigger the Hurricane Beat. But I fear it might be too little too late for Martin Soto. Can it at least deny it Team Allo a bonus point victory? That's another tie. One tie will do it now. But they get a hit, it's Alpha Dice, it doesn't matter if it lands on a 1. Oh, it lands on a 2. But that is going to be Team Allo's victory, and it is a bonus point victory over Martin Soto, who sinks to 0-2. And, and you have to say, a very solid start to this tournament for Team Allo so far. Right, on to our next match now. Right, in the red corner, representing Benjamina, we got Super Carnotaurus. Super Carnotaurus, the Awaken Mode on 2. Benjamina got off to a winning start against Martin Soto in round 1. We'll be looking to go 0-2. Now, this field is the Meadow Field, and that's good news for Anvil. Because they do have that Edmontosaurus in second. Right, in the blue corner for Anvil, we got the Cantorurus. Um, Not the return that they was hoping for in the loss against Hedy. I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce back in this match here. And, you know, it is important to not be cut adrift early on in this group because you've got Blood Moon, you've got Heady, very strong group stage records. You've got Team Allo, who are currently 2-0 now. Dino Hunter is a threat in this group. So you don't want to be cut adrift early. And that is a very good start for Anvil. And you have Dino Hug in this group as well. So a very competitive group. Okay, that's once. Ooh, that's a tie. And that's Carnotaurus getting the next hit on the board, so you know what that means. Ding 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 ding. Elemental Fusion! <laughs> Can he get the hit here to go 1-0 up? Oh, he's going for the correct. Oh, it doesn't get the crit. Anvil's having none of it. It's a diving press. Pressing the super cotton into the floor. Not going to kill it, but it's going to stop it getting that massive crit off, which would have put Benjamina 1-0 up. 
Well, now, in this scenario, even if he does kill the Desantororus... Oh, hello, we got Lillian Cure. Edmontosaurus will come in next with terrain advantage, which will almost guarantee lethal for the car now. But of course, if you're an anvil, you don't really want to use it on Garno. You want to save it for the Super Sarat rule that's about to come in next. Because this Carnotaurus is going down. Right, coming in next for Benjamin now. We've got Super Saratosaurus. Awaken mode on two as well. Now, if the Awaken mode activates... Actually, it won't. Probably. Oh, it might. That bird of prey back. I wonder what he's doing. Three. Six. That's a tie. Needs to kill this descent of That's another tie. Oh, that's another dive in press. Dive in press causing Benjamina so many problems in this match. Right, that's one. This could be a problem. Needs this next hit. And gets that next hit. Now, that could be a crucial hit. Because the Edmontosaurus comes in next. It's going to have type disadvantage. It'll get terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit in this match. But the Awaken mode will still be there for the Ceratosaurus to use. Because Edmontosaurus came in. And obviously the awaken mode thingy activating the bob doesn't show up. And it said Montosaurus is revival type as well. So if it dies in a tie, it will get to come back once. Ceratosaurus will survive this hit. I'm pretty certain. And a one hit with the awaken mode can definitely swing this match in Benjaminar's favour. Lamento Fusion. Now, he didn't get the hit with the Carno. Can he get it with the Seraptor? Ooh, that's a tie. That's not too bad. Chips away at Eddie's health. That's a crit. Another tie, okay. Oh, doesn't get the hit, but... You know, it did do a decent amount of damage with a tie, so it's not all doom and gloom for Benjamin are there. At least he got damage off. But a big hit there would have spelt the end for Edmontosaurus. Right, coming in third for Benjamin. Are we got Kakerodontosaurus there? So Benjamin, I'm not out of this yet. This Kakerodontosaurus can pull it back. The green killing machine. Ooh, another hit on the board. Oh, hello. What's this? It's a volcano burst. Always hated Kark's roar in this game. It just sounds... I don't know. It just... It sounds like a deep-voiced dying cat. It's like... <laughs> it's just so stupid. Who, who came up with that roar? It's just ridiculous. What's not ridiculous, though, is this massive hit coming from Anvil. Oh, it's a death grind. Boosh. And the Tappy Jara dive. That actually guarantees Anvil at least a losing bonus point out of this match, should they lose. But at the minute, they're winning this match. Okay, there goes the... Uh... Oh, actually, <laughs> the light recovery is going to heal the Kark above health. Half health, so... The losing bonus point is not secured. And the Edmontosaurus goes down. Right, coming in third for Anvil, we've got Albertosaurus. This has been a very close match so far. Neither one of our competitors have been able to pull away from the other. And, and Benjamina is still in punching distance. Oh, that's a tie. Gonna nullify that volcano burst as well. That could come in handy. As Kark does get the next hit on the board. No Volcano Burst though, because it's been removed. Ooh, but Anvil does get the next hit. It's going to be a move block as well. 
very move nullificating moves here from Anvil. That's going to remove all of Kart's moves. Ooh, hang on. Is this lethal? And it's lethal and it's game over for Benjamina. And Anvil claims the victory. Well, <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, it is Anvil's victory in this matchup. And they get their first win of the tournament. Okie dokie, on to our third matchup now. Which should be a good one. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Blood Moon, we have got a T-Rex. Blood Moon got off to a winning start against Dino Pug in round one. In a quite impressive performance. The T-Rex got its customary big hits, but the Uglatler did most of the work. Right, in the blue corner for Heady, we got Triceratops. Heady also enjoyed a winning start against Anvil, but it was not as convincing as Blood Moon's victory against Dino Hug. But I will say, I do fancy Heady in this match. I thought the volume was too low, it's very whispery in my head. But yeah, I do fancy Heady in this match. And I put it down to the Spinosaurus. Oh, that's a good start from Heady. Now, this trike is heroic type, so this lightning strike will do a bit of extra damage to the T Rex. Now, the Dino that Heady has is heroic type, and all of Blood Moon's crits are paper. So that could be a problem for Blood Moon going forward. As could that! A Thunder Driver coming from Heady, and this is a very strong start. He needs to get rid of this T Rex ASAP, so we all know what it can do. Especially in the hands of Blood Moon. But so far, all the big hits belong to Heady. And another hit! And down goes the T-Rex. Okay, coming in second for Blood Moon, we've got Uteraptor. Now, this Uteraptor did do a lot of work against Dino Hug, and it's going to have to do some work here to pull Blood Moon back in this contest. Um, there's no terrain advantages either, because since none of our guys have Earth types. Okay, that's a one. Oh, that's a tie. Blood Moon finally landing some damage on the truck. And finally getting their first hit of this match. It's a biting wind. Good hit there from the Uteraptor. Ooh, well, things go it turning full 180 here. Blood Moon getting the hits all of a sudden. And it's a tornado toss. This is going to toss the Triceratops away and do some big, big damage. Let's have a look. Big damage? He freaking killed it. Now then, coming in next for Heady, we've got Spinosaurus. The main factor as to why I think feel like Heady will win this match. Because of that crit. With the heroic buff it'll get against Blood Moon's whole team. Of course, that only applies if Heady gets a crit. He might not get a crit. But I'm pretty confident in saying that a crit from the Spino may put Heady 2 1 up. So as long as Blood Moon doesn't go scissors, though, he's got nothing to worry about. And well, he's getting a crit of his own here. Yeah? Another tornado toss. It was a good start from Heady, but Blood Moon really coming back into this contest. And yet again, the Uteraptor doing the work. And, okay, okay, this is getting a bit silly now. <laughs> well, it was Heady getting all the hits, now it's Blood Moon getting all the hits. And losing this Spino would be a big blow for Heady, as is this, because that's a Cyclone. That puts the odds well in Blood Moon's favour now. And yet, despite the tie, it is going to be 2-1 to Blood Moon and the Spinosaurus is going down. The Cyclone in forces the Uteraptor to attack during the tie. Spinosaurus is going down. And for me, Blood Moon has dodged a massive bullet there. Because our Spino could have been problematic. 
as will this T-Rex, I will say, of Heddy's, because they also have a T-Rex. And this T-Rex does have Death Bar, so don't count Heddy out yet. And it's got type advantage over the Uteraptor as well, mind. So big hits from this T-Rex, Heddy can come right back in this contest. But this Uteraptor is looking unstoppable in this match. I, I, hang on, has it even been hit in this tournament? I don't think Dino Hug got a hit against it. Heady just can't hit it. It's too elusive, it's too quick, it's too powerful. Is this going to be a bonus point victory for Blood Moon? Now, it is doing little damage, I will say that. But Heady needs to get a hit. Okay, there we go. Big crit from the T-Rex. Look at the difference now. Massive hit from Heady that could be. Oh, but this could be even bigger from Blood Moon. Okay, Deathfire might get triggered here. If it does, that's probably bad news for Heady. Because it's going to be wasted. And he won't get another one. Oh, it didn't even get triggered. And I... I think that's probably going to be it for Deathfire, unless Uteraptor gets another hit, which it probably will. Oh, that's a tie. That'll definitely be it for Deathfire. Oh, and is this curtains for T-Rex? Has Blood Moon got the bonus point win? Yes, he does. I'd probably say only just for Uteraptor yet again. Sweeping the opponents aside. And it is another bonus point victory for Blood Moon. And Heady will be licking their wounds. I, I really fancied Heady in this matchup, to be honest. But nope. Blood Moon does what Blood Moon does. He hits, he kills, he wins. In the group stage, anyway. Right. Now then. Time for our main event of this session. Ooh, this should be a fiery one, to say the least. All righty then, in the red corner, representing Dino Hug, we have got Mini King. Ooh, an interesting field this. A good field if you're Dino Hunter. That, that Pachycephalosaurus will get to range advantage in this match. Wow. <laughs> Both of these two winless so far. Right, coming in for Dino Hunter in the blue corner, we got Spiny. Dino Huff Hunter suffering a, a defeat against Team Allo. But I think even last year during their run, they had some pretty heavy defeats as well. I mean, the U match comes to mind. So it, 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 has, it did happen to them last year, and they did manage to bounce back. So they're going to need to bounce back here. If they want to top this group in, as well, they need to bounce back in this match. And Dino Hug also need to make sure... They don't want to go 0-2. Neither of these two guys can afford to go 0-2 early on. That's a tie, but ties will favour Spiny. It is a tie specialist. Another tie. Ooh, but that will favour Dino Hug. A big Thunder Bazooka. This Mini King has tight advantage over Spiny as well. And yeah, look at that massive hit by Dino Hug. And well, that's one nil to Dino Hug, I think. Yes, it will be. Right, coming in next for Dino Hunter, we got Sign Raptor and Dino Hunter a slow start in this match again. The three v three record is awful, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if it's 2v2 tag team, they're so good at that. But 3v3, they just can't win. La in the last tournament, I think they were winless. Last 3v3 tournament, they were winless. So it's super, super tough for them. Ooh, but that crit will help. Dino Hunter strikes back with a first shot of the match. Choo -choo. In the mini king down to size there. Oh, almost killing it. But the counter blitz has been triggered. Well, that guarantees the dino hug will at least damage the sign raptor. 
what Dino Hunter will want is probably a tie. And gets the tie. So yes, the Sign Raptor did take some damage as the Mini King goes down. Oh, actually, no, Dino Hug has a secret type as well, doesn't he? I forgot. He's got a Patasaurus. And this Apatosaurus will have terrain advantage. So it will get the next hit, which will in fact be a crit. Ooh, that could be a big hit, that could be. The elemental power will get triggered as well. Apatosaurus, a real health tank for Team Dino Hug. Ooh, could that be costly for Dino Hunter? Oh, wow, decent damage there. Defense boost coming in and elemental power. A potent mix those two moves are. Ooh, but Dino Hub does strike back with a crit. This Sign Raptor is heroic type, so this crit will hit extra hard. A light recov a recovery coming as well. That'll help. Let's have a look. You know what? That's impressive amount of damage. And that puts Dino Hunter back in the lead. Recovering well from that terrain ad advantage that Dino Hug had. And getting another hit on the board. It's a ninja attack. Dino Hunter extending his lead in this match. And remember, he's got Pachycephalosaurus coming in as well. So he will get terrain advantage at some point in this match. And a Pachycephalosaurus is unraveling a bit. Okay, that's a tie, but that is going to be curtains for a Patasaurus. Now, the problem Dino Hug will have is if this Atrox gets low enough on HP and the Pachycephalosaurus comes in, Dino Hunter will get the win. Right, coming in third for Dino Hug, we've got, well, Allosaurus Atrox. So ideally, he wants to kill this Cyanraptor pretty quickly to survive the terrain advantage hit that the Pachycephalosaurus is going to get. But Dino Hunter looking good, looking a lot better in this matchup than they did in round one. You have to say, much better showing. But can they finish the job? Oh, that's another hit! Is it going to be Dino Hunter's victory? Okay, now, now Atrox can't afford to get hit. Oh, that's a crit! Is it Dino Hunter's win? Is it going to be a bonus point victory? This has really unraveled for Dino Hug here. After a pretty solid start. And it's Dino Hunter's victory! It's a bonus point win for Dino Hunter. Getting them right... Getting them off the mark in this tournament. Finally, they get a win in a 3v3 matchup. And it's a bonus point win to boot. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, Group F looking interesting. Blood Moon Team Alog on eight points so far. Opening up a five point lead over Hedy, Benjamin and Anvil, which could be key. Then you have Dino Hunter storming up to third after a, their bonus point win over Dino Hug. You have Hedy, Benjamin and Anvil all on three points. Then you have poor old Martin Soto and Dino Hug rooted at the bottom on zero. But yeah, that's going to end this session here for Group F. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.